Hello everyone, it's Monday mu and it's time for Monday Musings. Um, today I decided to play with a lot of, thi of the things that I got from my trip to Houston, plus some new uh, dies that I got from uh, Tim Holtz. Let me show you what they are. And this is what I made, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. And the first one is the um, big ticket die, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I found that I kind of needed to use the crease pad with it, or um, the creases in here uh, would cut through. So here's what it looks like. But on one of them, I noticed that the crease cut through. So when I used, and on this one too, so then I used um, the crease pad in it, and it didn't do that. So this is a, I, I like this die. It's good for uh, background. It's good for framing a picture. It's good for um, putting some journaling in. So it has a lot of different uses. So okay, let's put that one away. And the next one is one that I've been wanting to get for a long, long time finally got it. This is the uh, layered dragonfly and here's how it looks and it comes with its own embossing folder and here is uh, one that I cut out. It's just straight. Oops, forgot to take the paper label off but anyway that's what it looks like. I cut it out of kind of a cream colored paper and embossed it and that's just going to be one of my favorites. I really like the size of it. I was kind of worried at first that it might be too large, but it's not. It's a um, nice size for layouts. It's a nice size for cards. Too big for an ATC, of course, but um, nice size. I like it. And then the last one is the layered B. Now, you remember I, I used the layered butterfly a couple of weeks ago, so now I have all three. And here's the B and it's a folder that comes with it and here are some bees cut out. Um, here's the, the uh, embossing side and the debossing side and one thing I noticed about this one and the dragonfly both is that on the embossing folder there's this extra set of antenna but it is not cut out of the, as the die so um, you only get that when you emboss on a piece of paper instead of on the die and otherwise you have to draw that in so I noticed that that's good to know so let's put this one away and also um, was trying to figure out what I wanted to to do and what I wanted to use and I've got these at uh, the Houston Expo convention. It's water soluble graphite sticks and they come, they're very thick, and they come in a set of three by Pacific Arc, Arc I think it is, 12B, 10B, and 8B. And you draw with them and then you wet them with a water brush or, br or just a brush and they they, um, they bleed and they spread and it's pretty cool. So um, I'll show you where I used those, but I wanted to show you what I was using. Um, I used uh, um, the bold, um, it's kind of a brush tip one, on of my pit pen set. Love pit pens. They want, they write on everything. And then I also used um, a water brush, and then I used uh, Neon Color 2 Water Soluble Crayons by Karen Durash. And these are the colors I used. This is a set that comes in a set of 15, a lot of different colors. And this is, so these are the colors that I took out and used, and I'll show you how these work. And then, of course, I used um, several different uh, distress inks. I used peacock feathers, seedless preserves, um, tea dye, and black soot. All of those. 
and I used some stickles. Let me get these out, back out of the way. And I used, uh, I brought out four of them, and I used them all, but I think I could have just done with using the icicle stickles. But I got out black diamond and um, brush pewter and rock candy and icicle. So I had this frame that I had gotten for one thing and it didn't fit. So it's been just hanging around for a while so I thought okay let's do something with that. So what I did is I cut a piece of cardstock. It's, um, it's this color and it's basil and it's called almond cream. So you could use any color because I covered it and that just happens to be what I used. And I wanted to show you, let me just use a, a little piece here, how I colored the background. I used my Carandrash crayons and all I did was just color a little randomly. And then I took my water brush with some water in it, squeezed it a little to wet my brush, and then I just blended. The color is vibrant, it moves, it's very, very user friendly. So I did this once. and then I dried it and then I came back in another time with um, these same colors and kind of punched it up a little bit let me dry this real quick to dry from the back as well. My messed up old Marvy heating gun is just the best I've ever had. Okay, <clears throat> so it's dry, but I wanted to do a little bit more working with it. And you can come back in here to some extent and work with it some more. But then I also just went ahead and added some more color and but I keep trying to put the crayon in the top of my water brush handle and then work with it some more until you have something that that you like so I did that and I dried it pretty much tell when you're dry when your paper flattens back out again after it's been wet. So then I came in with my seedless preserves and went around the edges with that and then the peacock feathers. also you know put a little bit in the middle to enhance and I got this and I like this a lot so then I also wanted to frame it so I took my black soot and brushed my edges with it so that's my background Okay, next, um, I did some things with the um, 
dragonflies and for my background dragonflies I just used these same um, distress inks on the wings like that and then I did the um, spritz and flick and sprayed a little water did a little blotting and that um, diffused my color but it keeps it very very subtle so then I came in with my water soluble graphite and applied some of that to the body and again you can use a regular brush or the water brush and I used my water brush and I just came in here and spread it out isn't that cool how this just spreads use a little more here I'm getting my cardstock a little saturated so it would be a good time to dry it and then I can come back in and add some more and I didn't get it real dry but you get the idea okay and I'm making one side darker than the other okay so there's that took uh, black diamond stickles and I ran it down my dark side and spread it with my fingers distributed it a little bit with my fingers okay so that's how I did the background well it's not quite all then I took my pit pen and your your um, surface must be dry when you do this. So let me get these wings. Well actually I didn't do that on the background one, I did it on the foreground. So, let's peel my label off of here, if I still can. Okay, there we go. All right, 
So what I did with the, the butterfly that's going to be on top of here is I used my Coran Drash crayons again because I wanted it to be more vibrant than the background one. So I just uh, took my crayons again and my goal is to get the uh, areas that are not not embossed, the depressed areas. Each of my colors on there a little bit in each wing. And take my water brush again and blend it out. Now these are quite a bit darker and if you feel that's too much color just come in and blot. and then come back with your water brush and blend it out again till you get a value that you want, that you like. And it's still really, really vibrant. And this one, I did it on the debossed side, and so it's a little different. And I'm finding a lot more um, depth of color, so that's why I'm still working with it to pull some of that color back out. And it will dry a little bit lighter as well. that's better. We could maybe work a little bit on this side. Maybe show you a little bit lighter. So you do have some control. Um, it's however much color you decide to put on and how much you take back off with the water. So you see this, this side is a little more pastel. Okay, so back over here and I need to dry them. is important to dry your surface um, between each step. Okay, and then, you know, I treated the, the body of the dragonfly the same way as on the backgrounds. But what I did is I took my pit pen and I just lightly, skipping a little bit, traced the outline of the, the wing veins. To 
give these wings more dimension. Okay. And then I came back with my black soot ink. and got my edges. You want to be careful, it's a little fragile. 